一時間のうちに P1 クライマックスに勝ち上がらへんと世界が滅亡する。Now, a couple months back, there were two big announcements in the Persona franchise, such as the new installment in the Persona series, Persona 5. As well as a new Vita game, Persona 4 Dancing All Night, which recently released in Japan and isn't too far from being released in the US. Just as any other fan, I am incredibly excited for both releases, but most of all, Persona 5 would take the cake for my excitement. So, to go off the hype of these great and new upcoming releases, let's rewind a couple months back to when I was incredibly stoked about the release of Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. Which I have been playing quite a lot lately, so to pay homage to the Persona franchise, Alter recently released a new, highly anticipated Persona figure that I have been looking forward to. The 1 8 scale figure, Labrys. A new character exclusive to the Persona 4 fighting game series, where Labrys made her debut in the vanilla version, Persona 4 Arena, as well as reoccurring in the new sequel, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. Without a doubt, Alter did an incredible job on this figure of Labrys. From her flowy hair, the detailed crown on her head, Her beautifully sculpted earpiece, as well as very thin wiring running along her hair, to her arm, which is incredibly detailed with hints of shading, the beautiful frills on her skirt, as well as her cleanly sculpted uniform. And the pointing pose with her daunting facial expression is just bad as. As incredible her sculpt is, the next thing that blew me away is an accoutrement of Labrys. Such as her giant enormous axe, which her name Labrys is a Greek term for a symmetric double headed axe. Now, if many aren't aware in the fighting game, aside from her persona Ariadne, Labrys's primary weapon is her axe, a very crucial piece to any Labrys figure, which Alter executed the sculpt of the axe beautifully. From the handles to the shaft and the head of the axe itself, Upon further examination, the paint job is outstanding with hints of shading in each crevice. There is blue wiring that has texture adding to detail, and the sculpt of the thrusters on the axe are beautifully sculpted. Now, if you think the figure's features and here you thought wrong, Labrys comes with two interchangeable parts consisting of a rocket arm piece, a clear plastic stand to hold the rocket arm piece afloat. And finally, an exchangeable hairpiece giving her a metal visor. Now, before all of this, the figure does come with instructions explaining how to change out her parts. To change out her hairpiece, you simply remove the default piece like so and reattach the visor hairpiece through the two pegs. Next, to equip her rocket arm, you remove her left arm with some force. Then attach the rocket arm and proceed to place it onto a clear stand to hold it in place. Now, Labrys is much more action packed than ever. The chain attached to the rocket arm, to my surprise, is not a plastic material, but an actual real metal chain, which adds a lot to realism and detail. Moving on, the fire boosting effect is painted very nicely, and her metal visor has sharp, crisp edges adding to detail.
Now I purchased Labras from Ami Ami on pre-order release for about 15,160 yen, which from my knowledge during the exchange rate is about 140, 130 dollars. If memory serves me correctly, she was not delayed and surprisingly from an altar figure released on time. Finally, moving on to my pros and cons of the figure. Overall, I am blown away by the sheer size and detail of this figure. To be honest, I really can't point out any flaws in this figure, as she is just flawless. If I had to nitpick, and I mean really nitpick, I would have wished if her axe had a better feature on securing it to the base. Otherwise, she is a fantastic figure, and definitely a must for any Persona fan. Anywho guys, that concludes this review for Labrys. Be sure to thumbs up and leave a comment down below regarding questions or anything related to the figure. New viewers who stumbled upon this video, please check out my channel, check out my other videos as I do figure reviews to loot hauls to other anime related content. And if you haven't, then please hit that subscribe button as this will let you know when I come out with future videos and all that subscribe button takes is just a click. So as always guys, see you guys in the next video.